I've had only f what the f like uh, just yeah. 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 yeah where do you guys buy your jeans from that honestly depends yo i've had some luck i mean i'm whole i present more masculine so a lot of the times i will like resource to old navy i'll just kind of go there and like get one of the bigger pairs um i actually did just get a pair from old navy like a couple weeks ago and i love it but it's a little big in the waist so i do have to take it in i'm probably gonna tailor it though so uh but i do love old navy's jeans especially their six plus size people versus one fake that's what it is men's section I don't really wear jeans, but I think the only two pairs. How are you gonna? How are you gonna fake that you're fat <laughs> or like oversized? That I own are from Shein. I feel like it depends what style I'm going for. True. Like for fitted jeans, I definitely think like good Americans my go-to. Obviously, they're on like, no the higher can fake, end, bro. like how, pricing it's, wise. It's gonna but be they, hard, like, man. Like make my ass look great. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Also, like getting the confidence to actually wear what you want. It took me forever. So when I actually did, I'm still in the mentality when I was like 16, 17, and I could fit in a medium. You better so cook, like, bro. Oh, you better I cook, man, to make the this. Store. You got to like, get your bread. I can't go to a mall and buy clothes anymore i would say two years ago i would go to like goodwills and value villages but that has become a lot harder as of late the reason that i chose to do this was mainly because it meant a lot to me to share the idea of like as you transition away from being in a bigger body to potentially being in a skinnier body that is not something that like makes you harder working or so easy at, like, achieving some sort of goal than the other person or another person that you may see in a plus size body and going into it i like promised myself i wasn't going to tell any lies i was going to be very truthful and speak on every kind of experience that I had had leading up to today. I wanted to make sure that what I was saying was stuff that I lived through. I think putting on a character oh. would be disrespectful to the other people that were here today. I just thrift most of my clothing and like I have a tailor for my pants anyway. Shout like out back to the in tailors. yeah, a hundred percent. Especially when I'm back home, uh, I'm 15 minutes outside of New York City. So he's just, this is cheating then. This is one thrift store. Yeah, I see his I see his thingy, but he's not really a fake though. I mean, because he's been there, he knows what if like. That's cheating. Chat, surely that's cheating, man. Surely that's fucking cheating right there. Because he knows what it's like. called the L train, and like that is really good for carrying. Nah, I haven't. I haven't finished Hogwarts. Town, I can go to my tailor very easily. It's like a five minute drive. Nowhere near finishing that shit. So I thrift probably 90% of my clothing cheaper, Sorry. saves energy, and like it feels way easier. There is no way he's gonna go pay like $15 for jeans, then go pay $45. Like I get it, as a plus size person, tailoring for some things, great. But I could not believe for a second that he is tailoring every set. And I was like, he he is not fat anymore. Not gonna lie, shop at Raw's a lot or Marshall's. Mm -hmm. And finding jeans is hard. I It's a hit or miss. Sometimes at Ross they'll have bigger sizes, sometimes they don't. But if it says stretch, then I'm usually good on it. I actually didn't even share where I got my jeans from. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that. I usually shop at like American Eagle. Jeans in general are like a struggle to find Either they fit your thighs and they don't fit your waist, or they fit your waist and they, it, it's a struggle. Mm, okay. This is kind of a cool idea though. But I don't like how he's a previously, he's previously oh, been fat. I did so we kind of feel, know he has I guess, advantage. invalidated in a point because they were talking about, you know, brands and, you know, and stuff that I can't really afford. So I thought my answer of, oh, I shop at Raw's because that's have what to I can afford, I thought that's, all good, man. that's what I appreciate you being in it, bro. me. So that's I was going to say, if any of you guys did any form of like performance as a kid, and I know we were talking about how I see some of us were models before, sorry about names, but how that affected you growing up and how like the idea of being on stage was definitely more difficult for you than your peers. That is an awesome question. Yeah. Well, you I, start since they're... Yeah. yeah. So I, I was on the math team for my elementary school, which was like very fun and I enjoyed it a lot. But before our first meet, when we were doing practices and such, uh, they gave us the vest sizes. And I remember putting on the largest vest size that they had and it clinging to my skin and making me very uncomfortable. And I walked into the bathroom and I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, I can't do this and I quit. Mm. And it really frustrated me that I let that take away something that meant a lot to me. That was definitely like my first experience with like, it is very difficult for me that outside elements are going to take who I am and make right. that mm -hmm. a form of a problem. 
as a woman. I mean, you can't please everyone. <laughs> it's worse. In a plus size theater community, Ch it's like, cannot... I always got the funny roles or the really unattractive oh, roles. Nice. And I'm like, I'm big. That doesn't mean I'm hilarious. Like, Girl, we could talk about this forever. Yeah, so that yeah. that's super powerful because performing and becoming into yourself, you either have to be overly confident and fake it till you make it or it will tear you down. So I'm very sorry that that happened to you. How do we all identify? Do we identify, like what do we use um, to label ourselves if you -H -A -T. have one? P-H-A-T, thank you. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a weird feeling about that one for some reason. <laughs> really? I just, I like just normal. Yeah. Because I'll yeah. say fat and then people be like, oh my God, fat. And then I'll be like, it's not inherently a bad oh, no. word. It's, not a it's an word. adjective. That's the, you, that's the thing. The no, time. but it is kind of taboo because I was like, oh yeah, I'm fat. Don't say that you're beautiful. I am Gorgeous, I but I am fat. I didn't say yeah. I was ugly. Yeah, it's, oh my God, yeah, bro. I'm sorry, I misspoke. I was People like, treat it like it's right, taboo, right. That, that's so the it's, issue, really. it's two yeah. truths. I'm like, exactly. yeah. I, I do, I feel beautiful, but I, I am fat. Being fat. I agree. I agree. Self love's important, but so is self care. So is your health. If you acknowledge that you're fat, why would you want to continue being fat? If you acknowledge, I'm like, don't know where, like, if you acknowledge that you're fat and if you know the consequences of being fat is this and this, health issues, why would you continue putting yourself, putting all your bones under that stress so in the long term you will have problems with arthritis, for example? Why would you put your body through that knowing that you, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Our plus side does not mean that we're not active, that we're not nice people, that we're not worthy, like worthy. Of course, it really sucks when people not. treat you differently because you're a size 18 rather than a size two or four. Mm. When I like, for example, oh, great example. I went Halloween shopping mm -hmm. and oh it's God. really hard because like, oh, for, first and foremost, trying to find the plus size costumes that are like, oh, it's just kind of integrated everywhere. Ugh. And it's like, realistically, you have 200 costumes here, but only like 10 are for plus size. Oh, yes, but then I go on to the other costumes and I was like, oh, my choice is to be like a f duck or <laughs> yeah, an, no, like exactly. the, the, the like plus size. Not everyone's fucking, you get me? Not everyone is plus size. You need to understand that major majority of people in America are not plus size, so don't expect them to have the equal amount. Like the plus size oh, nun, the plus size the nun one. costume yeah. cover. I want to chat. I really want to. I quickly want to see what per what percentage of people in. I just want to see this. <laughs> Some 60 67% of women are in the US are above size 14 in clothes. This is considered plus size. Holy fuck. 60 cent, that's, that's over hot. Yo, okay. Covered boobs, Ew. knees, everything. Uh, but the skinny yeah. costume for the, the oh. other nun was like tits out for yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, so I literally like my choice is like be a bubble bath or a duck. And yeah. I'm like, I need a plus size section when I yeah. walk into somewhere oh, because we oh. have not progressed in hu no. human society. Yeah. Yeah. There was this was, brand yeah, that like, that that's had promote, this that's big campaign lit. saying they were. But that's, but technically when you, I understand it's good to have clothes and shit for plus size, but bro, that's literally a form of promoting, literally killing yourself. Like, be, you shouldn't, pro, you shouldn't encourage people to be plus size. In the, like, it's unhealthy. I understand you could be plus size and beautiful, but bro, there's like, there's like, that shit's unhealthy for you. Like, why would they promote unhealthy shit? Like. And, uh, watching extended sizes but and then it came out <laughs> yeah. and it was like completely different than the straight sizes and i'm like yeah. we are just asking for the same thing why do size. they get cocktail dresses it's and i get literally, literally. <gasps> shut the f up <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> me 
Okay, yeah. wait. Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know it. Who voted me out? I am equally shocked. <gasps> I, I just, I'm psychic. I know, I know. One of you was on to something. If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. Oh! Yo, no! I think the odd one out is probably somebody who lived as a fat it person, used to be, yeah. but yeah. lost the weight. But usually, a lot of the times, people that do grow up fat or you know go through weight loss journey, they end up being more fat phobic. Um, that's not in I all cases. It's not in all cases, yeah. but it, it like it does happen a lot. Turning it on that, like I really do think that in my personal experience, people that go from being in a bigger body into like becoming skinny feels some sort of resentment, especially because I think they tie achievement to what they've done for some yeah. reason. Like there's this, mm -hmm. there's this very big principle of like, look at what I've done. And they very, they push this like American dream esque mentality of Honestly. like, yeah, like genuinely, exactly. like I worked hard and I did this. And it's like, well, not everybody and, wants to yeah, do that. And like, that's fine. Like, that's fine. If yeah. you want to lose weight, do that. But you don't need to like project that onto everyone else. Yeah, and I would yeah. think if you were somebody who lived that experience you as a fat person, you would understand. Honestly, dating, um, I've, I've met many guys who were like I used to be big so I understand that being smaller is more desirable and it's just like this conversation just rubs me the wrong way because yeah, I'm course. I've been met with so many people who think like that yeah. and like the worst person I dated was very fat phobic and they used to be bigger and they lost weight and they were like shaming me about my body being like you know Red we'd fun. have better sex if you were smaller oh, and all oh that shit God, like no. oh my god no this... and it's it's the connotation right like yeah, yeah. Because, because they like <laughs> that that is I was going to well, I was going to throw up air quotes we all blind that is a violation yeah. because <laughs> they like put in the work yeah. that part being air quotes and like became yeah. Yeah. Uh, into a skinnier body, yeah. all of a sudden there's this idea Wait, like yeah. you aren't working as well. Yeah. Right. Not, but again, not everybody yeah. wants to yeah. work that hard. Exactly. Hard Can we also go down the line and maybe just say if we have um, been fat or plus size most of our life? Um, or if oh, it, you actually, know. that's great because yeah. I wanted to say for me it was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Growing in South America, there isn't a lot of uh, overweight people, obese people, and I've always been curvy, so to speak. And I was fine, but I was still like, you know how they say you, I spent my skinny years thinking I was fat? So I moved to the U.S. when I was 16, and I started getting weight. You know, the life here is different. Um, I wasn't as active. I wasn't doing sports anymore. And then I was on birth control. So for me, it was hormonal imbalance that made me gain a lot of weight. Okay. But it really sucked. And, you know, in my own skin, I'm going to start crying. I'm sorry. Um, you know, like, being skinny? And, like, now you're fat, and, like, everybody treats you different? I think yeah. it's it's difficult too because um, you know I grew up fat I've been fat my entire life and I've always envied in a way like the I like I've always wondered what it would be like to live in a thin body and have yeah, people treat you sure. differently like I've always I've dream, I've dreamt about it and I think that is really difficult when you like yeah well, exactly like, you I understand what you're saying like you've lived both and it's hard because you know from people who haven't it's just we don't even we can't even you fathom don't even understand. yeah no. and speaking into the whole spending your skinny years feeling like you're fat I definitely relate to that I'm a bulimia survivor. Um, I was bulimic for about eight years, and I also played volleyball, and it was in, like in theater and stuff like that. And the only reason I stopped throwing up and binging and purging is because I was losing my voice, oh. and I love to sing, mm -hmm. and I got nodes. Oh no, that's oh, the worst! Oh, oh my god! I went from um, mezzo soprano yes. to mezzo alto. Are we all crying now? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, but yeah, what like the fuck it, is it didn't nodes? affect my voice. I don't know if I would have stopped. Stop. I don't know what nodes are, man. It really broke my heart after, you know, having to vote people out who, in my, in my heart, I knew were fat. To just feel invalidated, that just, that sucks. That really sucks. Holy fuck. <laughs> Yo, this guy finessed everyone. What? Yo, this, yo, this, yo, so respect. The eliminations is something that we're wrestling with. Do you feel like it took away from the experience? It was just like being in the space where we were sharing our stories and everything felt so heartfelt, but it's just a game. But overall, it was really awesome to be in the space and have these conversations that don't happen often if you don't have fat friends to talk about them with. As someone who grew up very self-conscious and didn't know where to look and turn to see people like me. I take that on. 
as an adult to speak about these things and have these conversations that we're still confused about. If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue Holy playing the fun, game, this not, nah, this, hand. yo, this guy finesse. I swear to God, if anyone's lying, oh my God, I'm so pissed. <laughs> if the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out and you win. <laughs> If the lights turn red, yo, respe I respect that, like, yo. You got some explaining two, to do. Three. Oh no, oh, come we lost. On. on the count of three, everyone can take. Holy the fuck! Blood. One. Holy two, shit! Three. I f knew it. I knew it. I knew wow. it. I told a heartfelt story about dating wow. someone fat phobic. You guys voted me. Okay, can we talk about a million and one reasons why it was Derek? Okay, the only one that got me was like the theater. Like I really could relate with that. So I Same. obviously know that no, you were like you I, really were. Right. I, I think that was true. It, it that, was no, it true. was true. I that's promise, that's, that's an important thing. Was Nothing. Yeah. There is not a single. Yeah. yeah. I, so when I was in fourth grade, I was four feet tall. I was 144 pounds. And my doctor told me that I was morbidly obese, and it was okay. a very like self-image wrecking thing for me because it was he used language that made it seem like I needed to change, as opposed to just assessing where I was. Like I said, everything that I talked about before was true, but when we were talking about people being incredibly fat phobic, mm -hmm. that go through a transition of being in a bigger body and then ending up, quote unquote, skinnier. That experience for me was I mistook the pain that came with not having self-love as being associated with a number on a scale. Mm. And as I kept moving the goalposts further and further away from myself and saying like, this will be when I'm happy with myself and this will be the time in my life where I like the way I look. And once I do this, I'll be happy with myself. I was no happier than when I started. Mm. I just kept being further and further from a goal that I was changing. I am happy not because of the way that my body looks, but because I can have self-acceptance and that's a very difficult journey for anybody to go on and me losing any form of weight played no factor in that. I hope that in watching this video somebody can learn that the horrible stereotype that they have of plus size people whether that be that they're lazy or sluggish or they don't eat right or they're not healthy there are people that are plus size that are faster than you. There are people that are plus size that That's are in that. better conditions than the average human being. That's so I was cat, bro. What the fuck? Plus sized for a long period of my life, and I still feel the residual. They are. Of, like, what the is this bullshit? Body, <laughs> like to this day. You're so not far. No. Time that I'm hearing a lot of these things because at least for me, growing up, it wasn't like being bullied or anything like that. It was just like my own mind attacking myself, like seeing in the mirror and be like, "Oh my God, you're fat. You need to lose weight." Outside of that. Like, I didn't experience, like, the bullying and name-calling. I didn't see any of that. So, like, hearing you guys, like, that's that's a lot. I couldn't tell, like, how I had an, an eating disorder when I was younger and how I overcame that. And then I slowly started drifting back to it. And I'm trying to lose weight now in a more healthy manner. So I wish I could have told that story to the group. Damn. I'm sorry to anybody that shared something personal and then, like, because of this feels like they were lied to or abused. Like I really, no, I, I came into the game with no. the idea of just having fun and I promised myself like, I'm not gonna lie a single time that when I speak. It's like I didn't wanna like come in here and build he a finessed them. I'm not I hope people who watch this video, he finessed them. whether no matter what size you are, I think it's important that we're just kind to people and treat everyone with respect. I hope everybody just takes away like empathy. You never know what someone's going through. You never know why someone's plus size. I don't know who made the rules, but we can create our own rules now. And I hope that everyone in the comments and everyone who's watching takes that away and just tries to be a better person, more understanding person. So you okay.